Number 22. Use the diagram of the trapezoid to find the value of x. So what we have here, we have a midpoint. I know it's midpoint because it cuts PS in half and QR in half. So we have a mid-segment. The mid-segment formula would state using these vari variables would be yz is equal to one half of the top, which would be PQ plus SR. So let's just highlight what we have. PS is right here. Ooh, it's not PQ, it's PN. Uh, yeah, it is PQ. So it's PQ. Then our mid segment, we can call that YZ. Then we have our bottom of the trapezoid, or top, if you, however you look at it, SR. All right, when we look at this formula, I know for a fact that we're working with variables. So the way we're going to go about this is we're going to do the inverse of a division, dividing by half. So the inverse of dividing by half would be 2 multiply by both sides by 2. While we're doing this, so we don't have to work with fractions, the half cancels with the 2, and then we get 2 times the value of yz is equal to pq plus sr. These formulas right here, these two are equal to each other. They're the same exact thing without all this, of course. So I'm going to use this formula over the other one because I know for a fact that if I use fractions I will mess up. With here there's no fractions. So let's um, start using the formula. Let me just make sure I have everything right here because if I don't have things highlighted I'm more likely to make a mistake. So what I have here we have 2 times the quantity of 5x minus 19 is equal to PQ 38 plus X plus 14. Here I'm going to distribute 2 times 5X and 2 times negative 19. You get 10X minus, uh, what is that, 38? Yeah. So here 38 plus 14, we have 38 plus 14 equals 52 plus x. From here, how can I solve this? Well, let's just try to combine like terms. Subtract x first. Subtract x. You get 9x minus 38. So go to 52. Then we're going to add the 38 over. You get 9x is equal to, should be 90. Good. From here, divide by 9, divide by 9, you get x is equal to 10. So the value of x here is equal to 10. You could use the other formula, but this right here, even though we had to use some distributed property, you're less likely to make uh, any mistakes. You're going to make fewer mistakes if you're multiplying by 2 rather than dividing by half. All right, and so that is how you do number 22.